Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 25. Inside this video session guys, we are going to store bookshelf data via Ajax to our database. In the last video that is part number 24, we had seen that how can we process our first Ajax request in plugin development. If I back to admin panel, now in the last video, this is the button we had developed. If I click on inspect element, go to console tab, click on this button. Now this is the response we have prepared. Now inside this video, we are going to store all the book self data like name, capacity, self location and so on to our database table. And the database table we have made to store all the book self data is something WP OWT TBL book self. If I click on this table, go to structure. Now this is what we are going to store inside this table. If I back to editor, go to partials. Now this is all about template for create book self. And inside this template, these all input fields so far we have developed. Now inside this, inside this form tag, we have our ID. By the help of this ID actually, we are going to make our Ajax request. So if I copy the ID of this form, now go to this JS folder, click on this JavaScript file and here, and to let's say that or instead of this bottom code, let's here, let's say that create book self code. After the single line comment, we are going to simply use the form ID and the validate method. If you have remembered that the validate library we have include inside this plugin file. If I scroll down, go to NQ scripts and inside this, this is the file actually we have downloaded and linked inside this plugin. This is all about input form validation at client side. Now we are going to use this plugin file, go to JavaScript file and inside this validate, let's say submit handler. Inside this submit handler and before submitting this form, let's say that this name field should required. So this is a mandatory field. Inside this capacity, we also want that this field should be required field self location it is also required and uh, let's say that by default value we have let's say active here so inside this book self we have all fields mandatory go to javascript file inside here let's say where post data equal to if i copy this selector writing it here and i'm going to use called serialize method and for now, let's say console.log post data. If I save all these changes, back to browser, go to admin panel, reload this page. So I am pressing control F5. So reloading this page. And inside this console, if I clear the console, let's pass, let's say, self1. Capacity should be 150 for the books and self-location, let's say, our central position. And here, it is central position and status should be active. Now, if I pressing submit button, now as we can see that inside this console, we have all the parameters like txt name equal to this is the name, here we have called txt capacity, here we have the capacity value, txt location, as well as dd underscore status. Now we are going to submit all these parameters what we have fetched from this form to our database table. Back to editor. Now go inside this. Also, I am going to concatenate this post data with our some extra parameters like action 
and as we know that this action parameter is helpful to make our Ajax request. So I am to copy these things and pasting it here. So action should be called admin Ajax request. This will be helpful to bind our Ajax request with our server side code. Also, we had seen that by using called WP Ajax action hook, actually we can bind our action with the plugin. If I open call includes folder and inside this includes folder, the main file of this includes folder is something like this. And if I scroll down and here inside this method called define admin hooks, we can see all about WP Ajax and this is all about our action name. This is the action name what we have passed writing it here. And this is the parameter we are going to handle inside this admin main file. So clicking on this file, scroll down and here inside this handle Ajax request admin. This is the parameter actually we are passing. In the last video, this is the parameter and inside this we are going to make a second else if block. So go here. Let's say that instead of first simple Ajax, let's say create underscore book self. And if I copy this post request type, pasting it here, doing some formatting. And if I copy this parameter, go to this file. Again, if I copy this block and let's say that else if and inside this case, the parameters should be something what we have called create book self. Now, after getting this param, we are going to store all the data what we are getting from this book self form to our database. So, go here. Now, let's say that get all data from form. So, simply if I type print a let's say that request here now if we save all these changes right now we are not saving any data we are just printing on our console so if i back to javascript file console.log response back to admin panel control f5 means hard refresh and let's say that self1 Capacity should be 150. Let's say central position. Click on submit button. So before that, go to network tab to detect our Ajax request. And if I click on the submit button, now we have some error inside this admin Ajax. So click on this link. And here is something bad request. It means we are not, not successfully actually communicating with our Ajax. So back to editor and I think that this is the serialized data we are getting with this post data and we are going to concatenate this post data with these parameters. So at the starting we want ampersand because previously we are getting all the values. So just we are concatenating these two values as well. So we need to pass ampersand here. So save all these changes. Again reload this page and let's pass some values here so something self1 self1 capacity should be 150 this is central position clear this network tab click on submit button and as we can see inside this admin ajax now right now this is the response what we have printed and these all parameters actually we are getting on the form submission. So we need to submit call txt name, capacity, location and the status to our database table. Back to editor. Now go to plugin admin file. Now inside this, firstly we need to add our tabular links so that, so if I declare a variable here, so let's say private, it is something let's say table underscore activator and uh, inside this construct function 
if I open about call includes and the deactivator file the same what we have done here this is activator and inside this we have insliced about TBL means table activator so inside this we are not going to inslice that if I copy this go inside construct here we are writing call activator and go to plugin main file called books management tool and inside this if I scroll down go to deactivator and here I am to copy this and pasting it here so simply we have included our plugin file means again go here and this time actually we need to include this activator instead of deactivator why we have included because this file will give all the tabular links this is the object what we have created by the help of this class and simply we are in slicing this object inside this table activator variable so by the help of this table activator variable now we can access all the tables what we have defined inside this class now inside this case we are not going to use this function simply we are going to use a constant instead and this is the constant we have defined called plugin path so copy that and pasting it here now by the help of this table activator so copy this variable go inside our save method and inside this simply let's say we are getting our book self name so let's say it's set inside this request back to chrome browser and we are getting inside this txt name variable so copy pasting it here now again if i copy this name same we have to repeat for the rest of the variables and inside next we have called txt capacity so save this copy this pasting it here pasting it here and this is for let's say capacity next we have called location so copy that pasting it here pasting it here and let's say location now next we need to do with the status so copy this variable pasting it here pasting it here and let's say status here now in the next we are going to use called the global WPDB object so we need to declare this global WPDB object inside this method and as we know this method handles all of our Ajax request so by the help of let's say WPDB we have a insert method all the discussions about database methods in our previous lectures now inside this insert method the first parameter we are going to pass about the table name so let's say this table activator and the table we have if I open activator file and inside this activator file we have called book self method this book self method basically returns about the book self table name so copy this method name so by the help of this table activator object or variable simply we are going to use the method to return about the book self table name in the second parameter we need to pass our values so let's say that if I back to our database now here we have called self name in the next we have called capacity so copy pasting it here self location pasting it here we have called status and the last value we have called created at which basically contains the default current timestamp so we are not going to pass about the values of id and created at back to editor now inside this self name we have the self variable inside this capacity we have called capacity variable inside this self location we have location variable and finally we have a status variable now after insertion we are going to check that our row has been inserted or not 
So we have called WPTV insert underscore ID. If this value will return the means greater than value of 0, it means we have inserted. It will return simply the row number ID after inserting these values. Otherwise, inside this else block, we will do let's echo JSON in code and inside this simply I'm passing an array and inside this let's say that status equal to 1 and the next key we have called message and let's say book self created successfully and in the next let's suppose we have some error it means we are getting about some invalid values inside this insert ID so inside that case let's say status equal to 0 and here we'll say failed to create book self now if we save all these changes back to JavaScript file and simply here let's say for now we are just consoling this message back to admin panel reload this page and let's insert some values so right now inside this database table we have like three rows so simply let's say self win capacity and let me check about the availability so self one already exists so let's say self 101 capacity should be 250 and let's say central position click on submit button go to console and here we can see that book self created successfully if I back to our database table reload this page and inside this we can see that the new self has been created and saved inside this table but here we are getting about a status equal to zero so let's check that why we are getting about the zero value in case of active and this is because actually these are all string values but I think that inside our database we have like integer type so there is integer so we need to convert about status equal to 1 and this will be 0 now inside this JavaScript code simply we are going to means we are getting our response from the server so simply here we need to check that if the state is equal to 1 so we need to make a success message to our page and reload that page if suppose we are getting about the zero value then inside that case we need to populate a model about that error and reload our page again so these are the things about the at attractive layouts what actually we can implement as for the requirements so simply after getting this response so let's say inside this case we are getting status equal to 1 so it means that here let's say if response dot status equal to 1 so simply let's say I am going to alert the message and the message inside this case let's say response dot message key and simply after set timeout simply let's say I'm going to reload our page after one second and let's say location dot reload so if I save all these changes go here reload this page and let's say here something self 102 capacity should be 80 and let's say again for the central position and status is active click on submit button go to network and book self created successfully again go here click on browse and the data we are getting writing it here but actually I think that we need to click on the hard refresh button or before reloading this page if I again back to code editor so let's check the code again and here we did a mistake something where data equal to let's say jquery dot something jquery dot parse json because 
we are getting about the JSON object means or object value from this response. So simply we need to parse that. So instead of this response, let's say data and data here. So this is the mistake. So again save this change, reload this page. Now let's say self. This time 103. Capacity should be 60. Again for the central position and click on submit button. Now book self created successfully. As we can see here, we can use our custom plugin to see all the success messages like sweet alert. Click on OK. And page has been reloaded as we can see here. Go to our table. And inside this, now we have a new row inserted. Now by using our WPDB insert ID, inside this, actually we are getting about the value like row number ID here. So inside this case, we have returned a value something 7 here. So this is all about video guys to save a form data from our plugin to our database table. So step by step, we have seen each section clearly. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.